Hi, and welcome to Joe Cook's dinner. <laughs> so today, for me dinner, I'm gonna make some jack and potatoes with cheesy beans, my favorite. So what you'll need if you wanna make some at home, it's dead easy, only takes about 10 minutes if that. So you'll need some spuds, relatively big ones. These ones are only little, so I might have two. See, I'm hungry. So two spuds, you need a plate, obviously. You'll need a fork, and a knife later for eating it. Um, some butter, some cheese, some beans, and obviously a microwave to cook it in. And that's what you'll need. Hello! So it's dinner time, and I'm going to make some uh, jack and potato with cheese and beans. Mm. So I'm going to show you how to do it, dead easy. So you want to get a spot, relatively big one. This one's quite small. So I'm going to do two, because I am hungry. So what you've got to do first, you've got to wash your spuds. So you've got to make sure you give them a proper good scrub. And then dry them off a little bit, so put them on a little bit of kitchen roll. There's one. There we go. Okay, then dry them off. And then the next thing you do, come and have a look. Is get your plate. And you need to get a fork and you just stab several holes in. Obviously be careful not to get your hands. So turn the spud around and just stab some holes in it with your fork. Like that. And then put them in the microwave for about three and a half minutes. And then see you when it's done. So my first half of my cooking in the microwave is done. So use the tea towel to get your plate out because it might be hot. So all you want to do, pull it out, and all you're gonna do is turn them over like so. Put them back in. Another three minutes. I'll check out three things up there. Another three minutes. And then hopefully it'll be ready to do. So when your spuds are cooking, you will come in here. I don't know if you can hear them, but you can hear them like hissing and like like that. Don't be alarmed though. It is okay, it's just cooking. So we're all good. Get it done in a minute. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna cook is our beans. So I've got mine in a glass dish but you can just put them in a, like a plastic container um, and put like a lid over, put the lid over it but you don't want the lid on properly you just want it yeah it's done okay so put the lid with your beans like on a a little bit of an angle like that so the air can escape through the little gap so you don't want it on like that because then it won't it might just explode and probably won't but put it like that and then you put your beans in for about two minutes so again, our spud should be done, so I've got my tea towel, so the plate probably will be hot. And all you're going to do is get your fork and just stab, oh that's good, that's nice and soft, went straight through, stab the other one. Okay, and then just put them to one side. And then you want to put your beans in. So put that in for two minutes. Back with you in a minute, a note to So as your beans are cooking for your two minutes, you can um, cut your spuds. So what you want to do is you want to come and have a look. So you want to have a cut, cut it in a cross like that. See how soft it is? Oh, look at that. And then you want to get your fork in and just twist it and it'll open up your spud. Like that. Do the other one. Love a good jacket potato, trees and beans, and then to fluff it up, just get your fork in and just spin your fork like that, and it'll just fluff up like the mash. The only thing with doing them in the microwave, it is quick if you're impatient, if you're hungry, but the only thing is the crisp, the skin doesn't go crispy. Okay, so next thing you do is get your butter and just put it in. 
just going to get a big lump of butter and put it in the middle and it'll just melt. You can spread it about a bit if you want. And then what I'm going to do, because I only really like melted cheese. What I'm going to do is put my cheese on first so then when the beans are hot it'll melt my cheese and that's how I like it. Um, you can have it with a side salad if you want. I want my cheese, I'm going to spread my cheese on it. Not too much. Not a massive cheese will be. That'll do me I think. And then my beans are nearly done. So the beans, because it's glass. Hey! Well, this glass is going to be really hot. So I'm going to take my lid off. Down the wall. This is a lot of beans. So again, be careful not to burn yourself. And then all I'm going to do... Close that. Let's just pour it over. Oh, it is hot. Mm. Ta da! Put down the wash, and there we are jacket potato with cheesy beans. Enjoy! <laughs>